Hello, this is Jason with Flexi Software, and this is a tutorial on managing white ink with the HP Latex 700W and 800W printer. There's two ways we can manage white ink within Flexi. The first is we can create a layer job that has a white layer and a graphic layer. You can also create layer jobs within Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw and open those into Production Manager and manage those multi-layer jobs. The other way we can manage white ink within Flexi is directly within Production Manager. If we have a file that doesn't have a white layer created in it, we can actually specify within Production Manager how we want to print white. Let's start there since I've got Production Manager open already. I've got a job loaded. We're gonna open this job and the first thing that we wanna be aware of is picking the correct profile. I'm gonna explain the different profiles HP has. The first one is WSP. This is white spot. This would be an example if you were printing on clear and just wanted to print white, you would select the white spot profile. The WOF profile is white over flood. With this profile, you're gonna print white over the top of a graphic. WUF is the complete opposite. It's white under flood, and we want to print white underneath a graphic with this profile. WSW stands for white sandwich, and with this profile, you would have a job where you're gonna have three layers. You're gonna have a graphic layer, a white layer, and then a graphic layer again, creating a sandwich job. In this example I've got open here, let's put white underneath the graphic. So we're gonna make sure we have the WUF profile selected. Next, we're gonna to go to our printer options and in the middle of the page, our white type is how we're gonna specify Flexi to print white. Before we get in and I show you this, one other thing I wanna point out is optimize for lamination. If we select this button right here, it's not gonna print the clear overcoat. So if you're gonna print a car wrap and laminate it, there's no need for that clear overcoat. If we select this, it's not gonna put that down. Whenever there's no check in here, it's always gonna put that clear down with the other inks. Let's go back to white here. When we open this up, you can see I've got several different options. The first one we're gonna look at is substrate. If I select this, it's gonna put white underneath my entire artboard. If we go over here to our output channel preview, we can actually see a preview of exactly how our white's gonna print before we ever send it to the printer. So with substrate, you can see black represents the white it's gonna print. It's gonna print white under our complete artboard, artboard here. Let's go back and take a look at the next option, which is under color. And I want you to notice that we have white in our graphic, but we haven't actually specified a white layer in this graphic. So I want you to watch what's gonna happen. When I come to my preview, you can see it's gonna put white under all the colors, but it didn't put white under where white was actually in the graphic. White's not really a color, so it didn't recognize to put it underneath there. I've got a little trick I'm gonna show you how we can get around this. I'm gonna close this file I've got the same file, but I did a little something different on this file. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna select my under color. We're gonna to go to preview, and you're gonna see that it's gonna print white underneath everything there. How'd I get it to do this underneath the white in here? It's really easy. I'm gonna come over here to my, my eyedropper. I'm gonna select the white within the file, and if you see here in my CMYK value, I actually put 1% in for yellow when I designed the file. When you print this, you're not gonna see any yellow in there, but Production Manager recognizes that as actual color. And when we select our white under color, it puts white underneath everything there. So a little trick that might make your life a little bit easier when creating graphics that have color and white in them. 
Let's look at the last couple options here. And these other options would be for uh, like a direct to garment printer uh, where you're printing on t-shirts, you're printing on a black t-shirt and maybe you need to put different gradients of white underneath the graphic. Uh, we've got variable under. If we take a look at how this prints, you're gonna see it's gonna print different, uh, different amounts of white underneath the color. We have one last option here, which is fill no substrate, which is gonna give you this result here. So those are the different options uh, to bring a file directly into Production Manager that doesn't have a white channel already specified in it and how you can do that within Production Manager. Now let's go into Flexi Design and I'm gonna show you how to create a layered file that has a specific white channel. We've got the same graphic in here. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna put an outline around it and I'm gonna make it a little bit larger than the graphic just to make it a, a little more visit, visually pleasing and you can kind of understand it a little bit more here. The important thing is, is that when we do this, we're gonna select our spot color that we created called white. And once I do this, I'm gonna show you how to create a spot color called white. It's very important that you create this spot color and name it exactly W-H-I-T-E with a capital W. If you don't use the capital W, it's not gonna recognize it in Production Manager and it's not gonna print it correctly. So when I select this, it's gonna put my white layer in here. I'm gonna separate this from my graphic. I'm gonna pull it aside so you can see it. I want it solid under here, so I wanna get rid of these little, little areas in here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncompound this, and I'm gonna select these and delete them. And now I've got a solid white channel that I want to put underneath my graphic. From here, we want to open up my layer tool and this is my layer tool within Flexi. We're gonna go over here to layers. I'm gonna add a layer here and I'm gonna rename these. I'm gonna call the first layer my white layer. My second layer is gonna be my graphic layer. So once I rename these, I'm gonna to go to my objects page and you can see that everything is underneath my white layer. I have nothing in the graphic layer right now. You can select objects a couple different ways. If you select them within the design, you can see it selects it here. Vice versa, it selects my graphic. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this graphic and move it to my graphic layer. So now I've got two separate layers. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. And I'm gonna center my white underneath the graphic again. And I've got my file all ready to go. One thing I want to show you here before we actually print it is how we create that spot color white. To do that in Flexi, if we open up our color specs here, all we have to do is select a color. Um, so we could come in here, we can select our color and we're going to specify it as a spot color. This is very important. And then again, we want to name it white with a capital W, H-I-T-E. And I can come in here, I can select the color, whatever I want it to be. And then I'm going to hit new. And you can see it adds it into my color palette here. We're going to hit OK. And down here, my color palette, any of these colors that have a little spot in the corner, those are spot colors. So I've got my white spot color created here. I've got my graphic with my multiple layers in it. And we're gonna send this over to Production Manager. So we're gonna hit Print. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see on here. And we're gonna send this over to Production Manager. Now when I open up Production Manager, you can see my job loading right here. And you can see it looks like the other jobs. The first thing we want to do within Production Manager when we have a job with layers, we're going to right click on it and split job by layers. You can see my layers now. And in the window here, we've got my first layer, which is going to be colors to the front. 
And my second layer here is going to be white. We're going to hit OK. You can see that it changes my job just a little bit. And when I double click on it here, you can see my two layers on here. So it's not going to print them offset on here. We did this just graphically so you can see that there's two layers. So now when I go and print, it's going to print the white layer underneath the graphic layer. Pretty simple. So there's two ways to manage white within Flexi. We can either create a graphic with multiple layers that has a white layer and a graphic layer, or we can open up Production Manager and manage our white channel within there. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope you have fun printing on your 700W and 800W printer.